Good afternoon. It's millions by nephew. Or you could just call me nephew. But welcome back to tunehype.com. So I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about um uh, how you can build your Twitter up and how you can use your Twitter to promote your music in 2020. So if that's what you guys are into, you want to know how to build your uh, music up and use Twitter to get it done, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Stick around for a whole lot more, all right? So for the most part, um, when it comes to the music marketing in 2020, a lot has changed because we have a lot of algorithm switches and all kind of different um, terms of service changes that it went down Ever since we got started with the uh, social media wave and everything like that. So a lot of things change. If you go back and listen to a video that's real old, like something that might have came out, I don't know, years ago. You can even listen to some of my older videos and some of that stuff might be um, obsolete or outdated. And that's kind of the reason why I keep making these once a year. I make more videos like this to kind of like add new ideas and strategies because old strategies don't work. So that's why I named it 2020. You might have seen on my last channel, I had other videos about how to build this Twitter and stuff like that. But this is a brand new video for, for artists, specifically artists on Toon Hype. You guys that are following the channel, I'm only giving you guys these gems. But, uh, you know, if you got somebody, your favorite artist that you like, go ahead and invite them to the channel. Help me get to a thousand subscribers because, like I said, these is gems. And the best way for me to keep providing this service to you where I'm just telling you how to do everything is if you guys help me get my watch time up and help me get this thing monetized. Because when the money is coming from YouTube, then I don't mind. It's just keep on doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let's jump into it. Basically, when you first get started with a Twitter, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and, you know, put your bio in there. Make sure you got a nice bio. Make sure you got a nice title of your page. I mean, you put your name and the first step, the first step you want to do. And I'm probably this is like very key is you want to have already picked out your artist name and already have registered it and already have a website and made sure that your Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, you know, your Gmail and all that can be a, a treat, a retrieved. You want to make sure you got a unique name. Nobody else got it. When you use that name, you can easily get all of the social media networks. And all you have to do is use another page and just try to see if you can't message that page or whatever. Like if you have a page right now, go ahead and message another name, see if you can't make up a better name because if you can't get all of the names, it's going to mess up your branding. And I don't want you guys to get messed up. So for me, I had that problem. It's okay because I'm verifying now. So it's all good. I figured out how to tie it all together. Um, but I ended up buying all the names and tying everything up. So anytime my name didn't match, I just made sure I had more, more than enough pages to make sure that I got that traffic back to me. But for you guys, like if your name is, you know, Sam Smith, you want to make sure that your Sam Smith is available, samsmith.com, Sam Smith on YouTube, uh, Sam Smith Twitter, and Sam Smith Instagram, and Facebook slash Sam Smith. You want to make sure you can get all of those, or else don't even do it. So, so, so basically, once you got your name and you got your branding and everything, you make your Twitter. And what's good about Twitter is you can, there's a few things you can do to get started right in the beginning. The first thing I would do is start by following um I want you guys to follow the first like like the first few people you follow. Make sure they're all in the industry, the music industry. So go follow your favorite artists. I want you to only follow your favorite artists. Don't just follow random people. Follow your favorite artists. Yeah, I'm going to show you why in a little while. So follow your favorite artists. And then <clears throat> I want you to hit the bell. So, you know, I want you to hit the bell. I want you to hit the bell on YouTube, too. So I want you to subscribe to this channel. But no, what I want you to do is right here. I want you to go up. You can't really see it on here. So I'm going to I'm going to switch pages. Let me see. So we're going to go to we're going to go to uh, we're going to go to just like uh, Rihanna. I always think of her first. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe I got a crush on her or something like that. When you hit follow. Right. You see that bell right there. It's right next to the follow button. So you want to hit that. Right. Turn this on. Go to all tweets. Now. Everybody you follow, I want you to do that. I like her too. So we can do that. All right, so you know, when you when you um when you follow them, hit that bell. These are your favorite artists. Now I'm gonna show you why you want to do that. Okay, so every single time they post, right? The first thing you want to do is right when that bell go off, like it's gonna tell you, okay, Rihanna Ariana Grande just tweeted, she just did something. You wanna be this guy right here. You wanna be Shannon fan account. You wanna be Ilaria, whoever that is. 
I'm saying you want to be this count right here, F F Y M M, right? I mean, a lot of people did this. I seen it. I seen it. A lot of people do this on Trump's account, right? Um, I know y'all like, come on, don't do it, though. Don't don't do it, bro. Don't do it. Don't go to his account. No, I'm just trying to show you something. So check this out. I want to show you something because it's easier if I show you this. You see this guy? You want to be Barrett Sally? You see what he did? He the top. He the top post, right? Well, I don't have a SoundCloud link or anything, but you can donate to da 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 foundation. See how he did that? I don't know how he was able to slide up in there so smooth, but he's trying to be funny because he's saying like, you know, music people do this all the time, right? They, 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 they hurry up and be the first one and they promote their music just like that. You know what I'm saying? And this, this dude right here, he, who is this dude? He's a CFB sports writer and whatever he is, right? So he talk about sports. So, you know, he's cool. He's just being funny, but it's a joke, but it's actually the truth. And it's so funny because ironically, that's exactly what this video was about. How to promote your music with Twitter. And this guy is basically showing you right here the same thing I'm getting ready to tell you is this very thing. I don't have a SoundCloud link or anything, but imagine if you did have a SoundCloud link or anything. But so take your Spotify, your SoundCloud, your Instagram, your music video and be this guy. Be this guy right here getting 294 likes and 31 comments and then... You can continue to promote yourself under this um, because he, he even promoted some more with his own. He can just keep going now. Like, or you want to be Don Michael PhD, right? The people love. No, not really. But so you want to be that lady, right? You want to be the one who got those those 737 likes. Now, I'm just showing you how to get the traffic, guys, because you got a brand new page. You know what I'm saying? And your brand new page is... is um. It's not popping yet. So you want to be able to do this. You want to do that. You want to do you want to hit the Drake. Right. And then you want to be like, all right. You want to be OVO sound. Well, you can't because they did that. But you want to be LZ right here. Let's let the go. And you want to do it with your music link. Or you want to be Shaq is dope here. This fan page right here where they got this. You want to do that to your music. This is what you see with D doing. So all you're doing is doing this. You're responding, you're putting your video up there, you're getting a lot of views, you're getting some feedback probably. Yo, honestly, this is better than Drake's new song, okay? Interesting strategy. Right, the strategy is to put your song right up under that and promote it. Uh, this nigga was shot and could rap like, look, okay. Anyway, <laughs> all right, so that's kind of that's kind of like, <laughs> is he... Is, is he <laughs> Yeah, he got shot, and I guess he's still rapping. And he's like, how's he shot? He's, he's rapping while he's dying. Anyway, so I want you guys to see that. That's the first strategy. So do that, and that'll get you all kind of followers, all right? You're going to get followers from that. You're going to get views from that. You're going to get impressions from that, all right? This ain't even no follow for follow strategy. I'm not even going to tell you to do that. I'm not even going to tell you that you can go follow a whole bunch of people and then unfollow them because you can do that. But that's not going to help you in the long run because... When you unfollow them, they're going to be mad at you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be angry. They're going to be like, yo, what, why you do that? So I did that on this, right? This is my gaming channel. I got a gaming page because I'm also a gamer, right? So I did the same thing. I follow all gamers. And then once I follow the gamers, um, I follow like the top gamers, all verified gamers. I didn't really get no follow backs from that. I just I followed them and then, you know, you might see two or three followers but the reason you want to follow so many people like that is because then Twitter is going to archive your it's going to categorize your page as like a um Twitter's going to categorize you in the music because first of all you followed a whole bunch of music people, right? You commented under music posts, right? Like Drake and Rihanna and Ariana Grande and stuff like that. Big people, Justin Bieber. And then what you did was you got music people to follow you back, right? And so, like, if we go look at Justin Bieber, we want to see, you want to be Chi-Chi right here. Now, you don't want to be Chi-Chi, but you want to be one of these folks in the beginning that's, that's up at the top. Yeah, you want to be, they must be popular. You, you want to be Alvaro. I don't know what he said, but it, it really went viral. He must have had a lot of followers. He must got a, yeah, he already popped. But you get what I'm trying to say, right? So that's strategy one. That right there, actually, strategy one, two, and three, because that's 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 your video strategy, that's your 
link click strategy. That's your traffic strategy. That's your follower strategy. All in one. I just gave you the whole game, guys. And like, even if you look at my page, like I, I did the same thing on here. Really, I haven't done that on here because I can just retweet it on my page. But like, I dropped, I, I dropped this Call of Duty video, and then right here I can just, you know, and then I'm getting traffic. So I, I made my page all like mostly all videos, like all videos, all videos and stuff like that. And then you just, you know, so that this this is the kind of strategy when people come to your page, you want them to see nothing but content from music. Studio sessions, engineer feeds, engineering, audio engineering, you asking them what they think about this song, um, you out and about taking photo shoots, you at a booth, you at a show, you at an open mic, you posting tickets, you doing something music related, all of it music related, don't talk about nothing else, just all music, like I'm doing this all video games, just like that, nothing but games. You see, I got my bio, gamer, gaming news, game reviews. That's all the stuff you do. If you got a record label, put it in there and um, stuff like that. All right. So that's the first thing. That's that's what you want to do. And, you know, I'm the Grand Zeno, guys. So, you know, make sure you follow me on Twitter. I don't know if you do or not. You probably do, but you don't. Go ahead and follow me. Um, so this is my page right here. The second thing, which is really like the fourth thing, because I didn't give you three strategies already, is to pay somebody like me, a huge guy like me, there's a lot of other pages, so you don't have to pay me. But you can get other guys that got big followers like this. Get them, tell them you need some promo. You know, you could just message them and be like, "I'm looking for promo." Like you probably don't think they respond, but most of them do because they need some money too. Everybody is not rich, you know what I'm saying? Everybody might look rich. They might have like eight hundred thousand subscribers, but then no one's gonna turn down a quick fifty bucks to do a retweet, hundred bucks or whatever. It just depends on who. So go ahead and reach out to these guys and ask him for a retweet. You see this guy right here, I had promoted his music because he asked me to, you know. He threw some money, I put him up there, I let him, pin, I pinned this video at the top of my page and now he's getting traffic and every time I tweet, he'll get some traffic. And it's all traffic from my page, you know. Um, I could have actually took this post and then posted it up under Drake's post and something like that to really get him some traffic, but you know, I'm not finna do all that because I just, I'm driving my own traffic, you know, so if you guys want some shout out type promo where you got a music video and you want me to say, yo, check this dude out, he's hot, something like that, hit me up for that, that's, that's something we can talk about depending on the record, I charge a different amount, if the record is whack, you know, I'm going to charge a whole lot, if the record is cool, I'm not going to charge much at all, it just depends on how much you've been working, you know what I mean, so, but for the most part, those are the two strategies that I feel like you need to know those ones, right? You need to be able to go and make, make a list of artists or people with big pages that you can get to promote you on your on your page and make sure these guys, you know, um, driving you real traffic. And once you try enough people, you're going to start to see traction from your page. Now, the next thing you want to do after that is you want to start um, trying to get people to go subscribe to either a mailing list, right? or your YouTube channel, or your Spotify, whatever you want them to actually do, whatever the end goal is, you definitely want them to do that. So if I'm trying to build up my Spotify, then at the end of the day, I want them to at some point go subscribe to my Spotify. And you want to put that out there at least two or three times a week. And you want to tell people to do that. If you don't do that, then ain't nobody going to do that. So that's, that's kind of like the thing you got to think about. You have to ask for the thing that you really do want. Um, if you got a music video, you want to keep pushing that same video until people catch on, until it catch on. You also want to add your hashtags in there. So I got hashtags. If you see, this is a hashtag right here, how you music right there. So you see how I say hashtag music. So under hashtag music, you see all this music under here. Now I do the same thing on Tune Hype. Tune Hype got its own hashtag. So if you go to Tune Hype hashtag, it'll take you to this. And then you can see all the. You know, all the people who are, um, oh, that's promoted. You know, all of the different people who working with us and different like artists that's been putting their music out. And it's all pretty much Tune Hype related stuff. And, you know, so it's a lot, it's a lot to it, man. But definitely, definitely you want to promote yourself. And um, I didn't even notice that she put that out there. That's kind of cool. 
This is like my whole little profile right there. That's cool. Yeah, so you definitely want to put your music out there. And you want to keep pushing it and getting it out there as many people as possible so that when the records drop, um, you hashtag it, people can find it, okay? So make sure you put the hashtag for your music, the name of your song, maybe. And if you guys want to get some free promo, you can put hashtag tune hype. And then you're just going to get free promo from the other people who's getting paid promo because there's some people who are paying and then they're getting traffic and the people going to the hashtag. So guess what? If your has if your if your link is in there, you're gonna get some free promo. Besides that, if we see that you're in there hashtagging, we're gonna retweet it. Because we wanna hook we want to look out for you. So I used to have a bot that used to do it, I used to go through and just retweet all the hashtaggers and just do it for free, you know, but then Twitter took down all the bots. It wasn't a bot like hurt you type bot, but it's the type of bot where if you, if it's sensed that somebody put Hashtag tune hype. It'll go in there and snatch it up and then, you know, move it. Um, it'll retweet it and stuff like that and push it. So if I if I go in there and I see that you guys are doing that every day, I'll start retweeting that on my um on Tune Hype's page and other pages. We got a lot of other pages, so you get some free promo like that, guys, if you want some promo like that, and that'll help because we got other pages that got followers. Um we got a lot of followers on some of my other pages to really help you out. So you definitely want to be involved with our our little network then go ahead and start using our hashtags and stuff like that the last bit of information that i'm gonna give you to really help you get started and how to push your music on twitter in 2020 all you have to do is hit that like button smash that subscribe button <laughs> and leave a comment below man go ahead and drop your twitter link below um so that people who see it go ahead and support each other artists and follow each other you follow him he follow you back um, leave a comment and say, look, I followed you. Follow me back. And you guys keep coming back to this video and following each other to build your pages up. Get yourselves up to about 2000 followers doing that. And then I'm telling you, you'll start indexing yourself into the um, search engine and then Twitter's going to push it. Now, I got another video like this on my other channel. I'm going to link it in the description so that you can go over there and do the same thing over there. And that'll help you get your Twitters up. And that's kind of like some free followers. This is like the fastest way to do it because... Everybody who's watching this video does music. And so that way you guys can stick to getting just music followers. If you try to do this on Twitter, you just get a bunch of random people who will mess up your category. So don't do those little follow trains where you just follow everybody. They follow you back. Don't do that because you don't know what their category is. And if you just get a bunch of random people, Twitter won't suggest you to the right people. You want to be suggested to music lovers and music people only, and that's the only way to grow. If you do it wrong, the algorithm have you out here messed up, wasting your time. Years go by, your page will never grow. All right, so that ain't even the last thing I want to tell you, though. I was just something I had to throw in there. The last thing I want you to do is um, register an account with ads.twitter.com, A-D-S dot twitter dot com go ahead and go in there go on your website go there sign up make an account and then i want you to go to um once you set that up i want you to see that just look in there set it up go get your walmart card go to settings go to options where it says payment methods go put, put your walmart card on there guys i want you to put a ten dollar twenty dollars on your walmart card and set that up as soon as that is set up, okay, as soon as that's set up, hit me up. Reach out and say, yo, Neff, I need you to configure this for me. Do my ads for me, bro. And I'm going to turn it on for you. I'm going to set it up so that it can be basically, um, I'm going to set it up so that you can start getting followers from Twitter. And these followers are going to be real followers. I'm going to target all music followers for you. So you're going to get followers directly from Twitter. And this is the last but easiest way. Plus, I can promote your music through this method. And all you got to do at that point is just add like $100 a month, $50 a month. Or you can just turn it off. You can skip a month, whatever you want to do. But that's what I want to do for you guys because I'm like really moving forward and I'm trying to go fast. And I just want you guys to be able to get your, your, your stuff promoted. So I don't care how many of you it is. If just hit me up on either Twitter, hit me up on my Instagram Mostly my Instagram, right? But like right now, it's starting to look like one of the other safest places to hit me up on is my, my YouTube. Just hit me up on this YouTube, matter of fact. Just hit me up in the comments below. Or yeah, just hit me up in the comments below because I can get to you faster. Just say, yo, Neff, 
I set everything up. I need some promo, whatever, whatever, whatever. And email me at music at tunehype.com and screenshot it or whatever you got to do to let me know that you're serious. You watch my channel. You, you know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I don't have to spend a lot of time explaining nothing. And then I'm going to be ready to help you right away. We can just jump on here. We can hurry up and knock it out. Because if you guys are watching my videos, then you already know all of this stuff works. You just need somebody that'll do it for you. And since I'm doing it for so many people, I just kind of need y'all to take the first few steps for me and set the accounts up, put the, the debit card on there. And, you know, and now those guys that just want to do it themselves, you guys can always look it up on YouTube and say, hey, how to turn on Twitter ads. You know, you can look it up. But um, if you want somebody who's dedicated to music, who has a little bit of passion for it and wants to definitely see you win, then just hit me up. Let me do that for you so I can do it the right way. Because there's some people that just set it up and you'll be spending three times more money trying to get your followers up than you had to. And that's pretty much what you should do. I didn't mean to make this video so super duper long, but I had to because if I, otherwise I would have to chop the video up into three, four, five, seven different parts. And I didn't even tell you all of the stuff I could tell you, but I had to try to squeeze it as much as I possibly can into this video. So I hope you guys found this video very informative. Like I said, drop a comment below. Please smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and turn on that bell. Because if you don't turn on that bell, you're going to mess around and miss out on something. We be having these um, limited time offers from certain companies that hit us up with music placements and licensing stuff. And when I post them, you're going to run out of time if you hadn't had the bell run on. By the time you see the video pop up on your screen, the, the, the circumstances is over with. You can't even take on the opportunity is gone. So if you didn't get the opportunity, somebody else got it. So if you don't want to miss out. Go ahead. Hit that bell and make sure when you reach out to me for the Twitter ads that you got at least fifty dollars or something to tip me to do it. Because I can't just be taking up all my time and doing all that. Just throw me something. I'm going to go on there, I'm going to set it up, and then you won't have to worry about me no more. If you have any more questions, I'll definitely help you. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm going to definitely look out for y'all. And I hope you found this video good. Let's get it out here, man. Let's get this money. Y'all guys get y'all music out here. And I don't care what your genre is, we can target it. I can target rock, pop, EDM, gospel, dance, hip-hop. Whatever. You know, I can I can target all of it. So don't be like, oh, he's probably only talking to rappers. No, I'm talking to you, too. I'm talking to all of you. You know what I mean? Even if you do production, if you do music producing and or you do sound engineering, whatever it is, if you're music related, I got you. So just go ahead and look out for me. All right. Hit me up.